Hey everybody, welcome back to Beginner's Mind, Art Mind. I'm Linda and I have another studio vlog for you today. And right off the top, I need to say that I have the most generous and supportive viewers of any channel on YouTube. And I'll tell you why in a second. We, those of you that follow me know that I have been on this 30 day cleanse, which kind of kicked my butt wasn't feeling well and I hadn't been able to get up into the studio. And also we're getting ready for the farmer's market and we actually have a meeting there in a little while. Printing out cards, you know, making tons of getting my silk scarves organized. And yesterday afternoon I was sitting in my um, recliner and feeling a little bit bummed because I couldn't get up to the studio to get any painting done. You know, I just didn't have the energy. So my husband comes walking in with all these boxes and we were both like, what the heck? He actually, when I started to open the boxes, because I was so shocked, I couldn't figure out what they were, he started taking some videos. These were the boxes that were out there. So um, let me open them up and show you what's in here. And then I'll paste the clip so you can see how shocked I was. So these are gifts. These are gifts from my unbelievably supportive, generous um, viewers. And I have felt a little guilty because I felt like my last couple of videos have been a little low energy and maybe my editing wasn't top notch. I can't, you guys, I can't believe how supportive you've been and how great you've been. This first package is from Michael and he has an amazing, he has two actually amazing Instagram accounts and I'll put um, links to his, both of his Instagram accounts on cards here. And then I'll put links down below um, the video in the show notes so that you can go check out his amazing sites. But he got me a set of Holbein gouache. And these are the cutest darn tubes I have ever seen in my life. Look at these. Look at these adorables. How great would this be for putting in my Peshat box? These will take up no room at all. I can't wait to swatch these out for you guys. So that was from Michael. And I have been dying to open these and play with them. And this is generous because these are expensive. And these are another thing I've wanted for a long time. And I've been talking about going back to painting with acrylics. Um, and the, it's like perfect timing. He got me the whole set of catalyst scrapers. The shaped ones, these are expensive. This was such a generous gift. The flat one, this, this kind, that shape, <laughs> so cool. I can't wait to play with these. This is a cool shape. And then another one that has, um, you know, it's got like the small, this, the point you can use or the big wide or the rounded. It's so um, versatile, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I'm supposed to be getting ready for this meeting we have to go to, but I, I just had to do this video so that I can open these tubes and everything and play with them. I wanted to be sure to show them to you guys first before I dug into it. So, wow, wow, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Michael. That is so generous, really incredible. Mm. Not, not only an incredibly talented guy, but a super sweet guy and a talented artist. Oh my gosh, his paintings are amazing. Okay, so this next one um, is a mystery box. There was no paperwork in this one. This one is also from Brick. I opened it up, and aside from the packing plastic, there was no paperwork, and it's Liquitex acrylic gouache. And it's all, these are, so these are all items that I had on my Blick wish list. This person, whoever you are, thank you so much, and I hope you will uh, shoot me a message on Instagram or write in the comments who you are so that I can properly thank you. They bought me the big containers. I know these are expensive. 
So here I'll just, as I take them out, so of course there's a white because you can never have too much white. There's um, cadmium free yellow. Cadmium free yellow deep. Love that they're cadmium free. Cadmium free orange. Cadmium free light red. Raw umber. Quinacridone magenta. Ultramarine blue. Phalo blue. And diox purple. So I'm really excited about this because um, Michael was, I was talking in the last video, I think about how they were so fluid and I was struggling with them a little bit. I forget if that was the acrylics or the gouache, but they're very similar. And Michael was giving me some tips and the paintings that he's been doing recently are with the more fluid paints. And so I, I'm excited to give him another shot because seeing the work that he's doing with them, it is very loose. It's not tight at all and it's expressive and it's beautiful. So I'm so excited to try these out again for another painting. So, so as if this all wasn't enough, there was also this box. I can't believe you guys. I'm so grateful. I'm just so grateful to you guys. So grateful. And these are the things in this box are things that have been on my wish list since I first made my wish list. So a long time. And uh, one of them I really needed. I'll do this one first. This may not seem that exciting, but I haven't been able to use my giant Stay Wet palette. I have, I have the tiny handy palette. I have the medium Stay Wet palette, which doesn't quite seal as well as the giant one. And this one's called the Premier palette. And this is the real big one with the red lid. And these, during all of COVID, these, the sponges and the paper so that you could use it were out of stock. They didn't have them. So I had to put the palette away. I haven't been able to use it in a couple of years. And then recently they came back into stock. So I put them on my list, my YouTube wish list in Mildred my dear, wonderful, supportive friend who has sent me um, donations on my Buy Me a Cup of Coffee site. Oh, she's, she's just been so incredibly generous. Um, she bought these for me. So now I can, and, and again, remember I was saying I was gonna break out my acrylics again and start playing with my acrylics? This is such perfect timing because now I can um, break out my acrylics into the really big Stay Wet palette. I'm so happy, I love these. Thank you, Mildred. Mm -hmm. And she also got me, oh, there's even a brush in here. I haven't even opened this yet because I wanted to wait and show you guys. She got me the Daler Rowney System 3 um, acrylics. And I, I never had heard of these. I found out of these through Emma Carlisle's Patreon and she uses them and she uses them to make big paintings. I think she uses a variety of of paints. I think she uses um, golden, these, and maybe Liquitex, I'm not sure. But anyways, I never heard of them and I was curious about them. So this was something else that I threw into my um, Dick Blick wish list and she got them for me. Blick wish list. Oh, God. Dealer Rowney 
a system three acrylic paints. I have wanted to try these forever. Oh my God. I can't believe this, Bubba. <laughs> That's crazy. I have been out of this forever. And then during the whole thing during COVID, this was out of stock. Mirror Stay Wet Palette, the largest one for the largest palette I haven't been able to use in like two years because they were out of, out of the sponges and the paper forever. Wow. And they came back in stock a while ago, but I didn't want to spend the money, so I put it on my Blick wish list. Isn't that wonderful? A whole set of the System 3. Whoa. And all of these. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bubble. Look at the box. Look at all this gouache. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Nobody loves you. Holy cow. All right. I can't believe it. You know, it's funny because you know how sometimes things happen and you just really feel like the universe or God is speaking to you and um, just having all these ideas about getting back to acrylics and doing some acrylic paintings on panel again. And um, yeah, getting back to that and maybe selling some more originals. Um, and then all this stuff comes that can get me, that's going to facilitate that, that's going to help me get back onto the acrylics as well as these beautiful Liquitec gouache, acrylic gouache. It's just crazy. It's crazy how things work. And you know, the, th the thing is really that when you have chronic illness, so much of your life is isolation when you're having autoimmune disease or you know, even if it's you have mental disease, physical pain, things like fibromyalgia, autoimmune disorders, you know, there's the whole gamut, invisible illnesses of all kinds. You may look fine, but you, you don't feel well enough to get out and get involved. So you stay home and you're alone and you're depending on like your Instagram. And I'm not a big Facebook fan. I don't do that much on Facebook, but a lot of people uh, get a lot of fulfillment from Facebook groups and you know, it just, it's not the same. It's not the same. Since I started this YouTube channel, I have felt um, more supported by you guys than I have on any other social media platform. And I did not expect that from YouTube. I just thought I would be putting these videos out there and doing my best to learn and grow and make them better. And I never expected, um, ah, I'm going to get choked up on you guys. I never expected the outpouring of love that you guys give back to me of love and support. And it really means a lot to me. Okay. I'm going to stop this because I'm going to cry, but thank you so much. And mystery person, if you're comfortable with it, please let me know who you are. And, um, Mildred, you're a doll. You, you're just a doll. You're so sweet. Your, your comments are so supportive. I really appreciate you. I deeply appreciate you. And Michael, you too. When I'm feeling down and you're posting these beautiful, beautiful paintings and I'm posting kind of crappy things that I'm just doing because that's all I can get done when I'm not feeling well. You know, you give me shout outs on them and you say, yay, you, you know, and I feel so supportive, supported by you guys and all the other people who are, who are reaching out continually in my comments. I mean, you don't have to be buying me gifts. You know, all the people that write in my comments, you are a blessing to me as well. You are uplifting to me as well. And um, I just deeply, deeply, deeply appreciate you. So thank you. So when we get back, hoping to maybe do some swatching of these, and I am so backed up on videos that I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to publish some midweek videos, I think, for maybe a week or two to sort of get some out of my queue because I have a sketchbook that I've been promising you for weeks that I filmed a couple of months ago. I, think. I also have the swatching that I did from that last art haul. I haven't finished posting that yet and um, just some other stuff. So there it is, the unbelievable generosity and love of strangers. I just can't believe your, your generosity. I just can't believe how supportive you are of this little isolated artist here in Vermont. Look at all those beautiful paints. 
Now, if that doesn't motivate me to get back painting for you guys and for myself, I don't know what does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is so amazing. My heart is so blessed right now, you guys. Okay, sending you much, much love. And I'll see you back here when I do some swatching on these. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.